put into law more than 50 million babies have perished in the U.S. alone by abortions. There are two Planned Parenthood clinics in South Dakota, and the one in South Sioux Falls performs abortions. Please state your position regarding the funding and support for abortion. Most gut-wrenching piece of legislation I ever had to vote on as a legislator was a, was a bill that we heard in the State Affairs Committee uh, that uh, restricted abortions for uh, uh, except for the life of the mother. And we heard nine hours of testimony in that. At one point, we had to take a break, and I went back into the room behind and sobbed because of all the hurt associated with that. And if there were any doubts in my mind about where I stood on abortion, that rectified it for me that, you know, I'm, I'm strongly pro-life. Uh, I think sometimes we take it too far to not compromise on rape and incest. But as far as government funding of, of abortion, I'm adamantly opposed to it, and I don't think that abortion should be an option uh, for birth control, period. You know, I mean, with sexual freedom also comes responsibility. You know, they, people talk about, well, the woman's right to choose. Well, what about the child's right to live? Once you've made that decision to engage in sex and you become pregnant, you're housing that living being in your body just like if it were in your house. You know, you can't just decide it's inconvenient and kill it because you, you, you it, once, it, once it's born, well, I don't see what the difference is other than time and nutrition when it's born in the mother's womb, and I think that child needs to be protected. I'm definitely opposed to abortion uh, in every way. Uh, and again, I like to look behind the scenes, but I know that uh, it's one of the biggest income opportunities for the people that engage in that anybody that you can think of. But the other thing I want to address is here, Two Senate bills that are already in, in our law. Senate Bill 38. I did my research today. In Senate Bill 38, uh, there's a provision in there. Here's how they define pregnancy. They define it as an emergency. So if it's an emergency, uh, there's no copay. You're pregnant, you walk in, there's no copay whatsoever. Now, once you're in there, uh, they've got four different contraceptives they can offer. One of them will kill a baby up to seven weeks old. Okay, it's already in law in South Dakota right now. So I showed you a picture of the clinic. Uh, that's it. That's just another side of the point. So anyway, yeah, we've got it here in South Dakota. I'm, I'm against what Planned Parenthood does. I'll tell you what, they don't do anything to counsel women. They talk about uh, mammograms. They don't do any of that. I've watched where they research these people. They call the clinics all over Planned Parenthood. They don't do anything for women. They kill babies and offer contraceptives. I believe in the sanctity of all lives. However, I also believe in the rule of law. There's some things you can legislate, there's some things you cannot in the South Dakota. But if the United States Supreme Court has spoken in this area, it will take a long time before it maybe gets changed some things the legislature is not going to be able to change as long as the case law says that it's legal. It took 58 years from the time the Supreme Court decided the case of Plessy versus Ferguson where they said separate but equal. You could discriminate as long as you had equal facilities for these different races. You could discriminate. It took 58 years before the court decided Brown versus education, and it was wrong. It may take that long for this as well. There is a process, it will take place. I'm just saying that there's some things that the legislature cannot, areas that they can't go to because the Supreme Court has spoken. Like it or not, those are the rules, those are the rules we live by. I think the question was funding and support. Of Planned Parenthood. I must confess, I don't know much about Planned Parenthood. I believe in the sanctity of life. I believe in the exception of rape and incest and the health of the mother. And I was deeply, perhaps changed. I lost my first wife due to cancer and a young son. And uh, I believe that motherhood needs to be needs to be is sacred, particularly as it relates to children. And if there's a, a, I think there are medical situations whereby you've got to. Very, very, very difficult job. These are really, really tough, tough, tough decisions, and I don't envy anyone that has to has to uh, make these decisions. But uh, we every year we vote on these. 
we've had, I think, a bill every year on abortion. Uh, we've had one, we had to wait 72 hours, I voted against it. Uh, it was a bad bill. It was going to cost the money. One of the reasons I voted against it, it cost a few thousand dollars, a few hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're trying to balance the budget. Uh, we knew that when we passed the bill. It was, it was modified. It came back the next year and voted for it. That's not a, not a perfect bill. I struggle with this particular issue, I must confess to you. Very briefly, uh, as Judge John said, the Supreme Court has spoken on this issue. The state of South Dakota, the electorate has spoken on this issue twice. In 2008, most recently, we have an abortion law in South Dakota, fairly restricted to get through uh, an abortion. Yeah, in the last two weeks session, we made it more restrictive with a waiting period counseling and counseling that needs to That said, very simply, I am totally against abortion for the need for the purpose of birth control, and I am totally against the state money of abortion for abortion. Thank you very much, gentlemen.